Manchester United are going to need to buy quite a few new players this summer, and that is of course incredibly expensive. One way you can bring your expenses down a little bit though, is by exploring the market of free transfers. Those players who currently play for a club, but their contracts will run out in the next four to five months. And there's a really good opportunity on the market, Tosin Adarabayo, linked with the club over the past couple of days. Unfortunately, I've been doing my research on this guy for several months now, waiting for it to become relevant so that I could drop this video. Tosin Adarabayo represents a brilliant opportunity because he's just very, very good. He's very well-rounded and he really raises the floor of your team, in my opinion. Particularly if you were to bring him in perhaps as a third-choice centre-back for the side, he can do almost everything you would need. So let's get into what that looks like. Starting off, 26 years old and English. This is a homegrown player. He ticks the box of the homegrown quota. That is very, very useful. 26 years old, he's got plenty of time ahead of him. He's a bit of a late bloomer, now really developing properly, but he's a very good player. But also, he's around six foot four, six foot five. That's a big guy. That is a big fella. And he's also, you know, really filled out his frame. He's a big lad. He's strong. He's muscular. He's powerful. He's athletic. Brilliant reading of the game. But then also on the ball, he's actually quite cute technically on the ball. Really good at moving the ball from different phases of play. Really comfortable under pressure. Tosin Adrabio ticks a lot of boxes. So let's get into it, starting off from a defensive point of view. Where? What we want at Manchester United is players that are able to step forward and play a high line. What we have currently is that when the ball is up this end of the pitch, we see our forwards press, but then our centre-backs retreat a little bit. And that's because the likes of Varane, Maguire, Lindelof in particular, are not comfortable moving towards the ball. Signing someone like Tosin Adarabayo, who is comfortable moving towards the ball, really connects your press and allows you to press as a unit. And of course, one of the reasons he can press in these situations is because, again, he's absolutely massive, he's strong, he's powerful, but also he has excellent reading of the game possessing this ability to nip in in front of the opposition, get the ball for his side, and then play from there. This is definitely a side of the game that he could do. You can see a situation like this, and all of these clips are going to be from the game against Liverpool in the Carabao Cup, where, for me, he was just incredibly impressive, one of the best players on the pitch. So you can see the ball here is going in towards the feet of Darwin Nunes, and Tosin Adarabayo has the reading of the game to get there in front of him. You can see he quickly makes this movement, he can see that the pass is going to go a little bit short, so he nips in front, wins the ball back for his side, strong in the tackle, and regains possession for Fulham. We've got another clip here, of course, from the same game, where again, the ball is going into the feet of Darwin Nunes. You've got to remember, this is Darwin Nunes. He's a big, strong guy. Yes, his hold-up play isn't the best, but he's a very powerful player to try and battle with physically. United struggled with that just last week, particularly Rafael Varane. Tosin Adarabayo didn't have such problems. Able, once again, to read the play, quickly adjust his feet, and nip in in front of Darwin Nunes, being strong in the tackle, kind of poking that foot in front of the ball to win the ball back once again for his side. And then we've got situations like this, where it's come a bit more direct from the opposition, perhaps a long ball, like on this occasion. It's coming up towards him. Again, he's competing with Darwin Nunes, who is very powerful in the air. Adarabayo beats him once again. So he certainly ticks that box of being a physical player who can defend on the front foot. However, to play in this Manchester United system, you need more than just that. Because when you play a system which moves towards the ball constantly, you do leave gaps in behind your defence. The question is, can he go the other way and deal with them? Again, Varane can, but not to the elite level anymore. Maguire can't really. Lissandra Martinez struggles with it a little bit. Tosin needs to be someone who is strong and powerful in these areas. He is. I wouldn't describe him as an elite wide defender. I don't think he is in that bracket. But in terms of covering for his teammate, particularly from a, a central centre-back position, he's very good at uh, getting over and providing cover. And he is capable in the wide areas as well. Once again, this is something which was seen in this game. So not only these long ball situations like this, but also balls which are being put into the channel. Again, fizzed into the channel this ball here. And again, what we've got to remember is he's against Darwin Nunes. We saw what Darwin done to Varane in these sorts of situations. Every time he got into these positions, he was able to carry the ball all the way up the pitch into the penalty area and really cause problems. But again, not for Adarabayo, who basically puts the burners on, gets after the guy, eats up the ground, and then puts a pretty much a perfectly timed slide tackle in. He waits for his moment, slides in, wins the ball back for his side, puts the ball up for a throw in. That's absolutely brilliant defending. And again, it's not like he's doing this against some random bloke. This is Darwin Nunes, one of the best transitioning channel threats in the Premier League at the moment. And Tosin Adarabayo made him look pretty average in this game. He, I would go as far as pocketed him. He completely just snuffed him out all game long. He was really, really impressive. So on a kind of 
face value point of view, Tosin Adrabayo could be everything which United need from a defensive side of the game. He's got the height and the physical capabilities to partner Alessandro Martinez. He's very good at reading the play. He can step in and be aggressive. He can cover in behind. I think he does pretty much everything you would want. But how about on the ball? So before we continue into the video, a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, jerseyfifa.com, the home of all of the greatest football kits. Whether that be the new latest releases or the old classic ones like this, Jersey FIFA has something for everyone. And now you can check it out yourself using the link in the description down below. And also make sure to use code JERSEYFIFA for 10% off when you order. On the ball, Adrabayo is once again a player which excels. He is very comfortable playing the ball out from the back. And that's perhaps not a surprise considering he came through the Manchester City Academy. They don't exactly produce players which can't play with the ball at their feet. Tosin Adrabayo is no different. Very comfortable in these positions. What he is particularly good at, and what I really like, is his ability to not necessarily take players on at the back, but carry the ball past players at the back. So when he is pressed, what he'll do is he'll take this first touch, which suggests that he's quite lethargic in his approach. You know, he's just kind of saying to the opposition, go on, the ball's there if you want it. So the player comes in and then his burst over the first couple of yards allows him to quickly power past them, leaves the striker in his dust basically, and is then able to play forward. This is a really useful trait to have. Rafael Varane does it occasionally. Maguire does it in a different way occasionally. What United need next to Lissandra Martinez is someone that can do it on a regular basis. Here he is. He's very, very good at doing it. And again, if we head over to Once Video Analyzer Pro, we can see this. So we've seen the defensive situations, his ability to deal with those problems. But then as we move into a clip like this, we can see Liverpool on the high press. This is one of the reasons I chose this game to look at, because Liverpool are very good at this. And is going to receive the ball. And again, what you can see is initially, he kind of has this relaxed body language as he receives the ball. He's looking up for a passing option. He's not even looking at the ball. So Darwin Nunes believes that he can get back and nick this ball. But as he does that, Adarabayo takes a big touch forward, strides past him and gets away from him. What he does next is a bit cuter, a little bit more delicate. Because what he does is he now looks to his right and shapes his body as though he's going to play to the right hand side. So Luis Diaz here takes the bait. He thinks I need to step left to intercept any potential pass. But Tosin Adrabayo then just goes the other way. And again, we can see Luis Diaz, is, his weight distribution is completely wrong. All his weight is on his left foot, so he can't move to his right, allowing the young centre-back to carry the ball forward, move into midfield, and then he plays a pretty safe pass. But that's really good progressive play. He got his side from a position where they were under pressure into suddenly they're around the halfway line. They've played out from the back quite comfortably, all because of him and his intelligence, his power on the ball. It's really impressive. But so are clips like this, where once again, he is going to use that approach of slowing down initially and then speeding up. So as he receives the ball, he is slow, knowing that Darwin Nunes is going to run towards him. Then what he does is he lets the ball roll across his body to, towards his right foot. Again, Darwin sees that as the trigger to now go and get him. But what he then does, again, as Darwin gets close, is he just accelerates. He takes a big touch here. It allows him to power through and once again progress the ball for his side. So Adarabayo is very good in this sense. He is very good at carrying the ball from the back and that would make him a really useful tool for United. Even higher up the pitch as well when you're trying to break down low blocks. The ability to stride forward into midfield, almost become the extra number in there, is really useful. The next question, I guess, is can he also do that with his passing? Again, Eric Ten Hag puts a lot of emphasis on this, on his centre-backs. Can you move the ball forward through the lines? Can you pass into these areas? Can you go long over the top at times? But mainly into the feet of the midfielders, into the feet of your striker. Can you do that? You guessed it. Adrabayo can. Now, again, I'm not going to label him as an elite defender in this bracket, but his passing in particular, his weight of passing is really good. He has this tendency to really fizz these passes in. But they're not fizz to the extent where, you know, it's like controlling a grenade. It's not like that. But they're also not laid short, allowing the opposition to get in. He just moves the ball quickly along the floor into the feet of his teammate. And players like Bruno Fernandes, Hoyland, Kobi Mainu as well, could really thrive off of that sort of service from the back. Lissandra Martinez does it currently. If we could suddenly do it from both sides, we would become really unpredictable. And again, we can go over and look at some clips of this. So not just the ball carrying, but also the ability to play out from the back with passing. And again, what I like is his composure in these situations, his belief in his own ability, but then actually, of course, to match it, the ability to actually play in these situations. So he's going to receive the pass here. And again, Liverpool are going to press him. But what he does literally on his first touch is takes all of them out of the game. Let's check that again. 
as he receives the ball here, he doesn't take a touch first. This is literally one touch. That is the ball being played. And he goes past all of these Liverpool players into Willian a little bit higher. It's just quality. And he does it again in this situation here. So initially he goes inside to the midfielder and eventually the ball is going to come back to him. Now again, what he does is he absorbs pressure but plays the ball first time through like four Liverpool players. Just watch as this plays out. So we're going to see the ball goes backwards. We can see, I believe this is Harvey Elliott and Darwin Nunes are going to close him down. Adrobio steps towards the ball, pretty calm doing so, and then quickly plays this pass through here. Now you might think it's going to this midfielder here, Polinia, but it's not. It's actually going one further past him even into the feet of his striker that is truly world-class progressive play and that's another reason why I think Adrobio is so good defensively he has a profile which can do a little bit of everything on the ball it's the same he can do a little bit of everything my question would be does he do any of it to an elite level standard which perhaps United want I'm not so sure I think this is a bit of a sleeping giant of a footballer I think there's potential for his game to explode really pop and go to the next level and he could be incredible at the moment, he's probably not quite that level, but as a squad player, someone who's going to tick the homegrown quota on a free transfer, and he's really going to raise the floor of this United side. He suits Ten Hag football more than what Maguire does, more than what Lindelof does, arguably more than what Varane does as well. This could be a brilliant piece of business for United. In terms of today's video, we are going to stop there. Because before we look at little details of his game and things like that, we will wait and see whether or not United really do show an interest. If they do, I will do further research. We will look at the intricacies of his game and break him down further. But for now, we're finished. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you like the look of him? Do you think this would be a good signing? All of that stuff. But apart from that, we are finished for today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.